everybody. Welcome back to the Club 420 Bible Study and Tour and Tour. Because we need something to do during the pandemic, right? So, it's a test to see if we can actually enjoy God's food and worship Him and thank Him every day, all day for the breath of new air. So here we go. Can of awesome. Cannabis. Take a seat. Let's get ready to preach the meat and burn the tree and whatever else comes out of me. I don't rap and I don't plan on. I can rap, I can sing, but not on my own. So we're looking at Isaiah 6, 9. How it says, hey, these people see, but they have no eyesight. They will never perceive. They have ears, but they're dull. They're blind. They're stupid. And they have leaders in church every Sunday saying, praise Jesus, praise Jesus. And we're following the blood of Christ. And yet it has nothing to do with the blood of Christ. It has to do with the aroma of the buds and blossoms of the tree of life, which Emmanuel said, a body you have prepared for me. Because in the old days, burnt offerings and sacrifices you weren't totally pleased with because everybody got arrogant and thought that their ideas were their own. And yet, we actually can have a conversation with our thoughts now that I've learned how to do that through the daily practices that are testable. And I have been tested through trial and separation and plague and disease. And I have said, there's no way that God created cannabis and God created the system and me and anybody's going to tell me that's wrong and it didn't heal me. So I am here today to continue to proclaim the good news to you guys. You can get high with the most high and you can smoke cannabis and you will not be callous or have calamus or cal uh, the other negative calamity anywhere near your tent. You will protect yourself, then you will spread the news like a wild flower. Fire. Oh, maybe it's a flower on fire. Yes. So with that, let's open up to Matthew 13 and see what he says in the parable of the sower, or the parable of the weeds, or the parable of the mustard seed and the yeast. Now do you guys see how this book is built? It's a cookbook, and it clearly explains that if you have one seed, hash, or hemp, you can actually make all of these things. You can make bread, you can make food, you can make clothing, you can make shelter, you can make ropes, you can make ships. You can have a relationship with the guy who created all of it. But don't worship anything else but the voice and appreciate the feeling that he gives you. It's his love. It's his covenant he wants to share with you. And he's very jealous. So if you start looking around at somebody else's uh, boute or pute, as every man and woman would say it, well, at that point, he's going to see it because he sees exactly what you see and he sees you wandering off and not paying attention to him. But if you pay attention to him wholeheartedly, with all your heart, with all your soul, and you do the most important commandment, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. There's one faith, there's one baptism, there's one flower, there's one seed, and there's only one God, there's one Hashem. Kind of went long on that, but Matthew 13, 15 is where we can pick up, and we will actually say, verse 10, the disciples came to him and asked, why do you speak to the people in parables? Because Cain and, and Abel were the first two, and Abel was the only one to bring the offering, which is Cain. So he's been trying to pair up Abel with somebody through all of these parables. And if you ask, seek, and knock, and Enoch walked with God for 365 years, or 365 days, you start to see the parables run their course. He replied, 
because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, which is like a mustard seed, but not to them. So now we share the good news of the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom. It's a secret ingredient. Whoever has will be given more knowledge and they will have abundance grain. Whoever does not have even what they do will be taken from them. This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will be ever hearing, but never seeing, and never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn an eye, Hashem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, will heal you because he did it to me. I am an eyewitness. I am not a Jehovah witness, but I obey, which is Jehovah, which is the Aleph Bet Vet language barrier. So I have learned everyone else's mistakes because I used to do all of them. And now I'm on this side of the tracks saying, oh my goodness, here, let me help you cross over. I'm your crossing guard on the way to school. Oh my goodness. So Baruch Hashem for Kanamasab, his fine flour, his one spice, his one seed. And he passed it down like a torch from generation to generation. And I was next in line, I don't know, to be the kingdom, to be the king, to be the heir of the throne. Yes, because I believe that I can breathe new air. And I'm co-heirs with Jesus Christ, the anointed one, the man of God, Emmanuel. So I hope you guys like seeing the book in a new point of view, from God's point of view up in the clouds, while on heaven or in heaven at on earth as it is done in heaven. Baruch Hashem and bless him. His name is Hashem and he created Kana Bossum.